And Suella Bravman has written to police chiefs to demand that anyone showing support for the Hamas terror group will be treated with the full force of the law. Hamas attacks have claimed the lives of more than a thousand Israelis since Saturday, a death toll that reportedly includes babies. But hundreds of pro-Palestine protesters descended on the Israeli embassy in London last night, chanting free Palestine. Israel and Palestine protesters then had to be separated by police as tensions threatened to boil over. The Home Secretary today said there can be no place for anti-Semitism or glorification of terrorism on the streets of Britain. I therefore expect the police to use the full force of the law against displays of support for Hamas. The Daily Telegraph columnist and assistant editor Michael Deacon believes that the mobs cheering Hamas on the streets of Britain have proved Braverman right. He said when the Home Secretary said multiculturalism had failed, this is exactly what she was getting at. But what do you think? Do the crowds celebrating Hamas's acts of terror prove that Braverman was right? Let me know your thoughts. Mark at GBNews.com or at GBNews on Twitter. Do vote in the poll. I'll bring you the results shortly. But to debate this now, I'm delighted to welcome broadcaster Nina Mishkoff and the UK director of the Common Sense Society, Emma Webb. Emma, has Braverman been proved right in less than a week? Well, I think that, you know... <laughs> This the the argument that Suella Braverman made was made by David Cameron and actually by the hero of the left, Angela Merkel, back in 2015. And the truth is that nothing and not a damn thing has been done about it since they, you know, they admitted that multiculturalism had failed. Nothing has come of that reflection. Um, and absolutely, she's completely right. You know, su expressing support for a prescribed terrorist organisation, which the mass is, is illegal in this. country. So she's absolutely right. It's, it's bizarre that in this country we see people being arrested for tweets that they put online, for retweeting limericks. People are getting in trouble for all sorts of um, things that the police shouldn't be bothering spending their time on. Uh, and instead, we're seeing people in the streets expressing support and frankly being jubilant and celebrating the murder of Jewish people, innocent civilians, as you mentioned, the kidnap of elderly ladies from their homes, uh, the murder of children, the rape of women. This is being celebrated by people who believe that the freedom of Palestine should come uh, by any means necessary. They think the ends justify the means. It's absolutely abhorrent. And of course, people have the right to protest. People have the right to express their opinions on any matter at all. But the reality is that expressing your support for a prescribed terror organization or inciting hatred, uh, not inciting hatred, sorry, inciting violence, um, to be clear, not inciting hatred, um, that is something that is prescribed. So supporting Hamas, a terrorist organization, is prescribed in Brit under British law. Yes, uh, Nina, celebrating acts of terror, that is against British values, but it's happening in our cities. Does this tell us that multiculturalism is failing? No, it doesn't. I mean, we're all absolutely in despair about what's happening uh, in Gaza and in well, Israel. Well, the people cheering on we're, the streets no, are I, not. No, I agree, that, but, they, but they, they, are, they are... I'm not supporting Hamas by any means, and I'm quite the reverse. And, and what uh, Emma said was absolutely right. But that does not... These are people who are supporting the, uh, the unsupportable. But that doesn't mean that multiculturalism has failed. They are not... They are not um, uh, protesting against the British way of life, about our country. They're, presumably they have neighbours that maybe as, as, as normal Palestinians, they uh, are living amongst uh, British people, amongst Polish people, amongst Italian people, amongst Greeks, amongst Irish. That is multiculturalism. Any civilised city, capital city in the world, you will see this, that people live quietly amongst each other. This is an extreme situation and an extreme version. It well, it's not, it, very, it's not it, very extreme because it's thousands of people in, in our cities it's, and it's, it's happening across the Western world. It, it's it's not you know, thousands. It's, it's, it's perhaps hundreds, I would say. It's not thousands and thousands. It's a small group of extremists. And that does not mean that we do not live happily alongside each other. You know, Suella Braverman is, is, is a prime example of someone for whom multiculturalism has worked. So is Rishi Sunak. So, to, to be fair, are you, Mark? I, I assume from your, sure. your, your, your surname that, that you're of Irish heritage. Yeah. You know, that's multicultural. My father was Polish. 
That's multicultural. What, what is not multicultural, but it's pure terrorism, is Hamas and the people who support Hamas. Briefly, the people. briefly Nina, though, can you imagine after 9-11 if people had been on the streets of London and Manchester and Glasgow and Belfast cheering that atrocity? What's the difference? No, it's... Or cheering, I, I, cheering the Second World War and the treatment I'm, of Jewish people I'm in not, Germany. I'm not supporting anybody who supports Hamas and cheering for Hamas and cheering for the horrendous, revolting, inhumane um, things that are, that are going we, on. We have communities in our country who are celebrating what happened this weekend. Uh, and that's Suella Bravman's point. But they're saying, but they're, but they're saying also, like, like, like people would, you know, people saying that if you're Irish, you would support the the um, IRA, which is patently nonsense. Okay. You, right. you know, you cannot extrapolate from that. This is an extreme situation well, Emma, and extreme people. Nina raises a brilliant point, which is the evil acts of Hamas, who are a terror group, do not represent all Palestinians. There are some in Palestine who support what Hamas do, but many who don't. So do you acknowledge Nina's point there? There are civilians who are caught up in this on both sides, but I think what Nina was describing there is a multi-ethnic society, which I'm sure that nobody has any arguments with. What we're talking about with multiculturalism is what has been described um, by some as plural monoculture. We end up with a kind of mosaic with closed communities that are not integrating. I actually don't think that what we're seeing at the moment in our streets, particularly the support for Hamas, is it is exclusively some issue to do with multiculturalism because we've seen people from all sorts of um, communities. And Jeremy Corbyn himself is somebody who described Hamas as his friends in the past. There are all sorts of people who have um, expressed support for Hamas, people who are, um, okay. frankly, I think this could be celebrating this online. This is the problem to do with the values that we hold as a society. Um, and, you know, yes, multiculturalism has failed. As I said, we acknowledged that back in 2015, it doesn't work to have all of these close communities not integrating. But what we're seeing at the moment with this celebration of um, Hamas's atrocities in our street is a much, much bigger problem that we need to have a proper conversation about. It's not just limited to any issues relating to multiculturalism that have been talked about to death already. Briefly, Emma, would you say that those celebrating the atrocities of Hamas this weekend in this country amount to hundreds or thousands? I have absolutely no idea, but one is too many. OK, brilliant stuff. Look, my thanks to Nina Mishkoff and Emma Webb for a fascinating debate. Uh, what's your view? Do crowds cheering Hamas prove Suella Bravman right about multiculturalism? Well, Laura says those protests were not multiculturalism. They were supporting Hamas, a terror organisation. They should all have been arrested. David says in this context, yes, it has failed. But many parts of the UK have benefited from multiculturalism and many public services are much better because of it. Sasha says, of course, multiculturalism doesn't and never will work because it has been forced on us by politicians. The protests in London last night proved that. Well, your verdict is in. And let me tell you that 91 percent of you agree that crowds cheering Hamas prove Braverman right. Nine percent say they do not.